welcome back to the video. I haven't done a YouTube video in a while and you guys wanted one. So here's a quick little one while I make a bigger video. We're gonna install a wrap to the bottom of the chassis and these are about, uh, they're pretty thick so they protect your chassis. As you can see, I've already gotten a few nicks. So let's protect this. There is one supply that you will need that is at your house. Hopefully you have hand sanitizer during these times or alcohol or alcohol wipes. Now, the reason you will need those is because you're gonna actually have to put them on your chassis and clean it. The thing I hope you do have are cotton balls. If you do not, I recommend getting some because they are good household items to have. And you'd be surprised to see how dirty your chassis is, even if it looks nice and clean. Loop, and just rub it in. Make sure you get the edges as well. And then you have to let it dry or else it won't stick. Smells like hand sanitizer. See, look, that's pretty dirty. That dirt can make it not stick. Now that I'm done, my uh, car is that dirty. I have moved locations because we're gonna actually need access to a hair dryer. Once it's clean, you're gonna go ahead, put this on, uh, put, push out all these holes that you can kind of see, and then you're gonna need a hair dryer to heat it up. You can possibly use a torch or something like that, but I would not because it could melt this because this is like a kind of plastic mix. So I would not recommend it, but you could. So let's put this on. I just realized is these holes aren't perfectly in there, but I did it as close as I could and I can obviously make these holes bigger. But as even as I did, let's turn on the hair dryer and let's get this hot. It's on hot and I'm going to turn it on high in three, two, one. bubbles I do have in here, you can kind of see it, but I'm not really going to get a close look at that, but I don't mind popping them. I've got as many air bubbles as I could out, a bit, but you can't actually see them really much anymore, unless you turn it at an angle. You can barely see it because of this design. Now, time to put it on the rear. Right, so it was actually the, oh, that's hot. It was actually the front that I had to do. They didn't give me a rear, which kind of sucks, and that was a way off, but whatever. So, I'm not really happy about that, but it is what it is. So, I mean, it looks cool, I like it, but I'm missing a rare. <laughs> it's the only downside, but there's my Fortec. And that is also how you apply a chassis skin. I have actually a chassis skin on Bruce, uh, my Slash, and this car, so I actually really recommend them. And the same company makes stuff for the UDR, so you can put it on the side panels. And uh, definitely something I would buy if you were getting an RC car that is low to the ground. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in a longer YouTube video.